All right, Chewy, 5-0 win against Pleasant Valley. Not too often that uh, that's that's the end score of one of these games. Uh, what do you think uh, made Muscatine so potent offensively? Uh, we carried the momentum over from last week against the big win against Alport Central. We went to BKs and, you know, we battled it out. And uh, we worked on finishing this week because last week we had about 30 shots or so. And it was a good goalie, so we had to finish on our finishing. So that's what we practiced. And it paid off, you know, we've had good shots. Uh, that goalie had to be contested on. He had to make a couple of saves, but we were able to get him past him. And uh, Pleasant Valley, you know, holding a team like that off the scoreboard, never easy. Um, what, what was kind of the game plan to make sure that they uh, wouldn't get a good shot at Kobe? Uh, just play aggressive and uh, play hard from the first whistle to the last whistle. And we did a good job on the defensive line. We were stepping, we were communicating well. And we, our midfield was there and we were playing solid all, all around all 11 positions. Yeah, what what does the midfield have to do against a team like Pleasant Valley to to kind of neutralize it and get the ball going in the other direction? Uh, I feel like the heart of a soccer team starts from the midfield. That's where you have your uh, best players. And our midfield stepped up. Uh, they had to go up against Nick Schwaki, which is a good player, you know. And they just they just played hard and uh, kept him tight. They didn't give him any space and we pressured, you know. Uh, four games in and still undefeated in uh, in MAC play. Um, you know, how, how does that feel to kind of have that record uh, this far into the season? Uh, it's always a good start to the season, going undefeated in the conference play. But we just got to keep our mindset that we're uh, we have no wins in the conference, and we just got to keep going and carry this momentum that we started with.